Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 15.1 drugs. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 15.1 you need to know what a drug is, describe the use of antibiotics for the treatment of bacterial infections and for extended explain the importance of using antibiotics only when absolutely necessary. A drug is any substance taken into the body that modifies or affects chemical reactions in the body. Recreational drugs are taken for a variety of reasons, including relaxation, stimulation and hallucination, while medicinal drugs help to relieve symptoms and fight disease. Antibiotics are a class of medicinal drugs that are used to treat bacterial infections. Although the vast majority of bacteria are either harmless or beneficial, a small proportion are pathogenic and may cause harm to the host if allowed to proliferate. Some antibiotics, like penicillin, kill bacteria by destroying the bacterial cell wall, while others interfere with the ability of the bacteria to reproduce or synthesize proteins. Since animal cells have no cell wall and the structures involved in protein synthesis are different, only bacterial cells are damaged when antibiotics are taken, meaning the drugs can do their job without causing harm to the cells of the recipient. Now it's important to note that not all bacteria are killed by antibiotics, as some strains have developed a resistance. In addition, viruses are unaffected by antibiotics as they don't have bacterial features. Okay, so that's everything you need to know for core, so we'll move on now to the extended section. When exposed to an antibiotic, a bacterium will occasionally mutate and develop features that allow it to survive. The bacterium can then divide, leading to the buildup of a resistant population. MRSA is an example of one type of bacteria that's developed resistance to several widely used antibiotics. Making sure that you fully complete a course of antibiotics once you've started taking them reduces the number of bacteria that survive and stand the chance of developing resistance. In addition, the more a strain of bacteria is exposed to a specific antibiotic, the greater the likelihood that a mutation will occur, so it's important that these drugs are used only when necessary. This means only taking antibiotics to treat a serious bacterial infection. Taking them for a viral infection, like the common cold, would not only fail to treat the condition, but would also serve to reduce the effectiveness of the drug. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 15.1, drugs. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 16.1, asexual reproduction.